Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and we're back here at our greenhouse, at our garden and yes, I'm recording early today so I'm looking a little bit like I just woke up but I'm, I want to show you some of my plants and I want to work on this video early in the morning because later on this day, um, some renovations will be done here at the house and I would be able to record again. So now let's just switch the camera and I'm going to be showing you some updates on our outdoor setup right here. Okay, so here we are, and these are my new outdoor rain or shine succulents. Okay, these are two, and um, I believe I haven't shown this yet, but I have repotted my um, Echeveria momoka or the variegated peach pride into this pot. Okay, in this clay pot that we got from Kubling Hardin, if I'm not mistaken, and we also have these neon breakers right here. Okay, look at that, really, really nice. It already has multiple heads they've been through some rain recently okay but these past few days there hasn't been any rain so yeah they're dry and then we have another pot of mendoza right here so there's that i'm trying to make it grow as lush as this one okay hopefully it can get to that lushness okay but yeah they've just been growing like crazy this um cryptopetalums so I have, I think I have three pots of Mendoza right now. Okay, and we also have these lovely rose that is really just growing so much. And also some Ellen and other succulents as well. Okay, I'm actually wondering why this one, the Mirine that I have here, this is from a different seller. Okay, this is from one seller. And this other one is from another seller. And they look di different, okay? But they're not growing at the same condition, but they're different. This one has a much more peachy color, but still nice. Okay, so there's that. Now let's go on inside the greenhouse. Look at that. Look at how much space my, sh my rock has. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. So these are all the succulents that should go up there at the shelves. But I watered them yesterday and I watered them, I think it was already hot in the morning. So I placed them down here so that as they are drinking the water, um, they're not exposed to extreme heat. Okay, so th sometimes I do that once I, when I water like already too late into the day, if it's no longer that early. Okay, but right now, um, we won't be watering, we will be unboxing this. Um, new succulents that I have okay so I have been repotting and uh, which is why we have this tub right here okay this basin we just put it down okay so everything still looks good right here look at that okay and yeah we're gonna be unboxing first before I rearrange some of my succulents okay so I'm going to be trying a new video method. Let me just switch the camera. Okay, so this is from um, Liquid in Green from um, Divina Mendoza. Okay, and these are the plants that I got from her. So I've tried out a different way to record video, like that the dual video that is included with my new phone. But it seems like the dual video function is not good for recording. Okay, the angle is wrong, so... Yeah, we're just gonna have to do this with a single video but i'm glad that i have some i have a wide angle video right here uh, so that you can see more it's not just a zoomed in video by the way for those who are interested um my new phone is um xiaomi mi 11 light 5g Okay, I'm a Xiaomi user. All the video that I have been making are all made with Xiaomi devices. So here we are. And we even have a desiccant right here. Okay. Oh, this is a lot. She really managed to pack, pack them tight into the little box. Okay, so let's just go over this one by one. So this one is the Irish Mint. Okay, you can see that. It is an Echeveria uh, hybrid, Echeveria Topsy-Turvy hybrid. Um, it's a green colored upturned leaf Echeveria. And yeah, really, really nice. I really like the color of this one. I'm actually looking for the other one still, the other upturned leaf, the 
Red Lantern. So that is, I think, as a Deberia. This is an Ekeberia, the Irishman. Okay, really, really nice. A more close-up look. Okay, Ekeberia, Irishman. So now, uh, let's just zoom out again. Okay, so this is the one that I have been looking for. Um, and the one that I said that I didn't buy from Binget because it was expensive, but I already managed to find a much more cheaper one online with Mam Liquid in Green's post. And this is the Focaria Lupina, okay, if I'm not mistaken. So, we have that. Okay, let's just get a camera to focus. Look at that. Look at the colors on that Focaria. Really, really nice. Really, really amazing. Okay. It has this nice whitish texture texture it must have been just squished because it was in a tight box or maybe because the pup is growing here but for carias um though they might seem like they're related to aloes and to ice plants they are very very slow growing okay that's what i would say about them and you might want to add a little more organic materials as i've said before in their potting mix because they're ones that will like get thirsty very quickly and then they won't recover very much with dehydration so i don't recommend that you dehydrate these ones too much uh, my other normal focaria has been to dehydration and because of that dehydration i don't see a lot of growth on it yeah because you know me i'm kind of uh like very slow to water so i don't water often and my focarias are struggling so you might want to add more organic materials um, into your potting mix so that once you water they will grow a little more i think i'm gonna be repotting my focaria and uh, my other focaria right here okay so now um there is also the issue of the potting mix that a lot of you have been asking about this is the potting mix that i'm supposed to use that has almost composed okay i have some spare one from when i last repotted yesterday um, and the one that actually failed me the one that isn't doing well the plants that i have that wasn't doing well it was planted in a potty mix that i believe it was from the same seller as that one the name is a uh, soilless potty mix and it had carbonized rice hull on it as its main ingredient i think it has some cocoa peat but yeah that potty mix wasn't really good for my succulents they weren't attaching to it this is another one this is an echeveria fabiola okay I think this is a free one because I didn't buy a Fabiola. Um, I believe what I bought is a Ben Badis, okay? But I think this is one. This one is a Fabiola. And it's just right because um, I think I killed my last Fabiola as well. Yeah, I think I killed it. Okay, so yeah. I don't have any Fabiola anymore. Oh, I just, I just showed it too closely. Okay, so this is an Echeveria Fabiola. And yeah, uh, a lot of these purple storm hybrids, I'm not like very excited for them anymore because they die very quickly. So they are very slow growing and they yeah, apps and they die very quickly. So yeah, I'm not so hopeful about them. Okay. But yeah, hopefully we can get this alive for a little longer. Okay. This is my other purple storm that I have had, I ha I'm having success with. Okay, this is um, a Caveria purple storm white. The white professor room okay you can see that really really nice colors in that okay now it's that now it started growing again because i replaced the potty mix that it was last in um it started showing these white colors on it okay which is really really nice but it's still a very small plant okay i bought this as like a few inches less or a few centimeters less but after all this time it has only grown like this much okay those are new leaves by the way and those those that are in the center okay those grew in my care okay so you have that the white purple sorum. i also repotted a lot of succulents and i realized that a lot of them don't have roots so that was with the old potty mix i will be showing you later after we unbox so all of them a lot of them those struggling succulents they don't have roots so i repotted them and i'm hoping that they will grow roots and when I actually thought about it, those succulents were actually being bottom watered already. I was already bottom watering them, but they didn't have roots. And that is like a problem because you don't want to bottom water succulents that are not established. So you want to establish them first before you water them. This one is an Echeveria 
Norma or Roma, okay, this one kind of reminds me of the Pachyberia ice cream because it has wider leaves, but it is a much more bluer colored hybrid. And I think this is a Pachyberia or probably a Pachyberia hybrid as well. But I really like this like wide leaf succulents because they look so chubby. They look so fat very quickly, even though they are small because the leaves are wide. Okay, so there's that. And this is still a small one because um, a lot of the growers or a lot of sellers of these ones, they sell them at small sizes. Okay, I don't see anyone selling that as a large size succulent. This next one is a uh, German Champagne. Um, okay, German Champagne, a uh, small size. Okay, and I'm actually wondering how I'll be keeping this one alive because a lot of my champagnes are struggling right now. Okay, and champagne varieties are very slow growing. They are not the fastest echeverias and don't expect them to grow fast. Be patient with them. They look nice if they are grown much more slowly, if they are watered less frequently, and if you give them more sun. So they will grow less, but they will look better because they have farina if you water them less and if you give them more sun, okay? So you have to be very patient with these champagne varieties. And this German champagne is very different from other white, pink, and green champagne. This is very unique, okay? So we have that. Oops. I keep on zooming in. I should be zooming out. I haven't been recording because it's very hot in the day and it, the sun rises too early because it's in the middle of the summer. Actually, in other countries, the su summer is just starting. So the days will be longer. I think I will be adding like uh, another layer of shade net here in my place. Okay. So this is the Ben Bodies. Yes. Okay. This is nice. Okay, so this is very very nice look at that look at the shape of that okay i killed my other ben bodies i think i planted them together the ben bodies and the purple sorum that i had and after i planted them together i think i watered too early and the plant the other plant that i had just died so yeah purple sorum hybrids are very very sensitive to overwatering, and they take a very long time before they need to be watered Okay. They are not that very thirsty succulents and they are not uh, they are not large size succulents. They're very compact, they're very small. Though I know the bend bodies can get wide, can get large, but it will take a very long time. Okay, you have to be very patient with these purposorums. Okay, finally we're down to our last three and hopefully we finish this before it gets too hot. Okay, so we have this one. This is a succulent that I've never had um before probably or I probably had but I killed okay but this one is an Echeveria ebony look at that I managed to find a medium sized Echeveria ebony and yeah I'm gonna be struggling again how to keep this one alive because yeah they're not the easiest okay so yeah I'm just gonna be very patient with them I'm not gonna water them quickly but it's really nice that they have some roots to, to begin with the bottom here so yeah we have that Echeveria ebony. Looking really nice. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! I was just talking about it. The bend bodies can get wide. And now we have a wide size bend bodies. Okay. Look at that. Really, really nice. Okay, so these are the two bend bodies that we have. Really, really nice. Really, really stunning shape on this one. I always like the shapes on this plant, but I keep on failing on it miserably. I think I killed several. And look at this. Look at these two Ben bodies. Really, really nice. I thought I was only going to get the smaller one, but uh, I was given the other large one. So I think one of these is free um, because I only ordered one. And it was already very cheap when I ordered it. But yeah, they still managed to give me another Ben bodies. Really, really nice. Really, really thank you, thankful to Mom Divina of Liquid in Green. Um, make sure to check out their page because she sells a lot of succulents though it might be too small for for others for the liking of most people but i can tell that mom liquidine green is very a very experienced seller okay she's i, I think she's one of the older sellers in the market along with mom jinky kadiogan and they do their air drying very nice very nicely
like there's no rot in any of these plants so if you want to be much more confident with your plants with shipping if you don't want any doubts go with the older sellers they will air dry their succulents better and that includes from divina and now let's go on to the last one and this is the only one okay i think this is the one that grabbed my attention the most when i was looking at her post because i look at a lot of sellers posts and when i find this when i found this uh echeveria shin as situensis echeveria situensis i immediately thought that i, I was gonna buy it okay so this is an echeveria situensis and i haven't had this plan for the longest time i was hunting for it and i was looking for a plant that is very cheap i didn't want to buy a very expensive plant so i waited until the price like went down and now we have this one okay this small echeveria situations i think it was smaller than I, I expected but it's still a very hefty plant it has some weight to it okay and we already have a lot of leaves so yeah there's that so we're gonna try to make this one grow a little more Okay, Echeveria Citruensis. It doesn't have a thick coating of farina. And I think that's one of the interesting things about this Echeveria. Really, really nice. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so I'm going to be um, letting them dry out probably for about a day or two. And then later on, after that, I'm going to be repotting them. And I'm going to be making sure that I repot them in Alnos compost only and not in other types of potty mix. Now, I'm just going to take the camera and we'll, we'll look at the potty mix that I'm talking about. Pardon the mess, guys, because um, it's very hot in my place, in my greenhouse at the day. And because of that heat, I haven't been able to like clean up the greenhouse. But this is the uh, bottom part that I have. I have some old pots right here. And these um, pots had old plants in them that died, or probably I repotted. And the potting mix that it had, I'm just letting it stay there because I'm going to be reusing the pumice. Okay, pumice is very hard to find, so I'm very, very like resourceful with them. Sometimes I wash them, sometimes I just dry them in the sun. Okay, and this is the potting mix that I'm talking about. Um, I'm actually cheating because I said that I'm using Alnus compost in my videos but some of my plants are not planted in pure Alnus. So this is, you can see here, soilless potty mix, okay? I got this from Shopee and yeah, I was trying out a cheaper alternative to Alnus compost but I haven't been endorsing this, you know? Um, in my older videos, I didn't talk about using soilless potty mix because I didn't want to share a material that I'm using that I have been tested out. So now that I have tested it out, I'm avoiding it. I'm not gonna be using it anymore. Let's just put it up because it's so hot down here. Okay, so what this um, soilless potty mix has I think you're not meant to use it as a, like an only source of potting mix, okay? This one is already an improved version over the last one that I used that wasn't really doing so well. They're um, supposed to have alnus compost in them because they came from the seller that has that sells alnus compost. So it's supposed to have alnus compost, but you can see it has some like rice hull, dried rice hull, carbonized rice hull. Yeah, and it has some, I don't know, some other type of material. But yeah, it wasn't doing so good. It wasn't good for my succulents. Um, you can see the difference. Okay, I'll just put it side by side with Alnus Compost. It is very different. This one is much more coarse. Like, it doesn't absorb the water. It is very water repellent. And the roots don't attach on this one. The roots attach much better on the Alnus Compost that I used because I managed to repot some of my older succulents and um, they have really large masses of roots when they are um, planted in this type of potting mix. And also I will be very careful not to use a lot of pumice again uh, as I said before because if you use a lot of pumice um, the roots won't reach the won't reach the house compost so it won't attach it doesn't have anything to attach to. I think it is the case um i'm looking for it right now okay with this one 
wow look at that look at the colors this plant has in this light so this is pucky berry ice cream okay the neighbors have gotten really noisy this is pucky berry ice cream and when i uh, when i uprooted it it only had a small amount of roots because it was planted in a shallow pot like this one but because it had a lot of uh, pummies just like with this one it has a lot of pummies um, the roots weren't that big even if I was already bottom watering it the roots are very small so I tried to repot it in this in this smaller container so that um, over watering won't be a problem it will dry out much faster in a smaller pot okay so we have that okay so I think that's about it for this update it's already getting very noisy and very hot here in the greenhouse okay and I'm just observing my plants really okay if you like the unboxing that we did and the mini tour and the update that I shared Please make sure to hit the thumbs up. We have another succulent that has died in here. Look at that. An Echeveria uh, Roma. Okay. I think it's also sold as Roma. And the other one is also sold as Roma, but they're very different. But this is another variety that one's dead. Okay, I'm going to be tossing it out. Okay. So really, really nice. It's a good morning for me. Really, really good morning. But hey, we get some positives. We get some new succulents that are doing well. So yeah, there's no reason to panic. We still have a lot of succulents. Okay, you can see it's already very, very hot right now. Okay, yeah, very, very hot. Yep. And yeah, I think that's about it for this video, guys. If you like the update that we did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. I said it before, I will say it again. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you on our next video. Bye bye.